Hey, Lindy Berry here. Um, today is my first day at home. I got home last night late. I flew in from Texas from a uh, surgery center in the hotel. And um, I have to tell you, it is so good to be home. It is just has made the world of difference in how I feel up here. So um, uh, physically, it's been, uh, recovery has been hard, but not, not, it's just so hard to explain. There is like no way that you can prepare somebody for having surgery. The only thing I could think of was, um, you know, before, before having surgery, you know, did you guys ever have those moments where you were so sick of not being able to stick to a diet that you just wished your jaw could be wired shut? Or, I mean, I even had really sick moments where I was like, I just wish I had you know, some life-threatening sickness where I'd be trapped in the hospital and I'd be on liquids and I would just have to like lose weight. Like, isn't that just sick? Not just sick. You know, of course I didn't feel that way for too long, but I think every person who has really battled with their weight, like really battled with it, I think many people might relate to that. Those horribly morbid fantasies of ways to lose weight. <laughs> but anyway, what I didn't understand is how it would feel to be in a situation kind of um, drastic like that, where, you know, to be hungry, to be thirsty, and to be unable to put anything in your body. Um, so after surgery, I felt extremely nauseous, extremely nauseous, where I was uh, throwing up blood, which throwing up hurts in itself when you have abdominal surgery. Yeah. Hi, baby. Hi. Nice. And, um, and, you know, and, and then my nausea, it went away most for the most part, almost, you know, I had just, I still have a little bit of nausea and, um, but, but abdominal pain, um, not a ton of it. I mean, it could have been so much worse. I saw videos where other people obviously had it a ton worse. So, but what what really affected me was the mental battle because every day I physically felt better and better. Um, I had surgery on Friday. Today is Tuesday. So that's what Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So it's day five. Um, and so physically I felt better every day, but mentally I felt myself, uh, kind of declining which is weird. And I realized it's because this is out of control feeling where I feel hungry. Not, not hungry though. I mean, my stomach is definitely not hungry. It's, it's in my head. I see food and I'm like, that's so good. And I know I can't have it. There is no way in heck I could put food in my body right now, unless I want to die, unless I want to rip through some staples. Right? Like, and it it feels kind of like that worst case scenario thing where I, I was like, you know, imagining having my jaw wired shut or something, you know? And, um, it's a, it's a really scary out of control feeling to be unable to nourish yourself. Um, and that I think is what has been really getting to me is just this feeling of being unable to nourish myself. Um, now I can drink. So, um, now what the doctor told me, he was saying that like my stomach cavity is like this big and that with swelling, it's like really swollen so it's like this big so when you take a gulp of water you know the air and the you know the water it can it can cause a lot of pain and it does it feels like a rock in your chest um feeling full used to feel like uh it, it's weird it's like I have a whole new body I'm having to get used to a whole new body with whole new signs and whole new um feelings and uh you know I, feeling full used to feel like like, like Thanksgiving dinner, you know, you know what full feels like. Um, but you know, feeling full now feels like a heart attack. It feels like a pain in my chest. And it's like, I have, and, and it happens after having the teensiest little sip of water. It's like, I have this little teensy sip of water or juice or something. And, and I get this pain in my chest and it feels like a big rock in my chest. And sometimes it's really bad and it, and it feels like a heart attack. Like I was saying, it hurts. And sometimes it's just this small, persistent rock just sitting in my chest. And, um, oh, sorry. 
I, I hear, you know, for, so I told my doctor about this because on discharge day, I was feeling pretty discouraged. I was feeling pretty panicked. I didn't, I was afraid to go home and not have nurses or doctors there to take care of me. And uh, my doctor, again, like I said in my last video, picking the right surgeon is so important. Doctor, Dr. Alvarez was just amazing. He was so amazing. And he sat me down and he goes, you know, uh, it's like when you cut your hand and your hand hurts when water runs on it. Every time you eat, it's going to hurt um, because you have, you know, something touching an open wound. And just like the cut on your hand, it will heal and eventually you'll be able to wash your hands and it won't hurt and it'll be back to normal. And he said, so you'll be back to normal except better, um, new and improved. So that's what I'm trying to look forward to. That's what I'm trying to remember. Bonnie. Keep my eye on the prize and Bonnie. focus on that. And you know, before surgery, that didn't seem like a hard thing. I heard people had a real hard time with this. Um, but about with this mental battle, this, you know, feeling hungry, but not being hungry, this wanting to eat, wanting to drink, but un being unable to without it hurting or without being able to, you know, without gulping air or, you know, um, I heard people battled with this, but I had no idea. I, I, I was like, why is that so hard? I mean, I could watch their videos and watch it. Boom, boom, boom. The time would pass and, and they would just get better, better, better. And I'd be like, look at that so fast. And then pretty soon you're skinny and it's, you know, and you're healthy and you're no longer pre-diabetic. You're not taking blood pressure meds and, and it's all worth it. And, um, but when you're in it, when you're in it and you're hungry and you're thirsty and you cannot nourish yourself without pain, it gets to you. It gets to you. So anyway, I am happy to be home though. It, everything just feels better at home and, um, and I am uh, physically getting better every day. So that's where my head is at and my body is at right now on day five. Thank you. See you guys later.